coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Well, no surprise, the Scotiabank Arena packed to the nines. These Canadians just have an insatiable appetite for him. Every time there's a fight in the north, the arena is completely full. And tonight, you see the same thing. I cannot wait for a great fight. And he's looking for that left, it's not there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Dig and kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Head kick lands, it was hurt. Set the pace and hit him first. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks.
left hook to the head, it's blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he gets caught with that punch. Still nice body kick lands. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by the Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Get right here. Big body kick. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Head kick. Punches one. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. What a body kick. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. Just misses with the right. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, what a punch. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Head kick, that's a miss. Leg kick. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just out of range with that left hook. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Nice leg kick. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets in. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. To the feet now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It's such a fast leg kick. 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, he misses with the left punch there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. And he continues to work the body here. Look at him drive his shin into the of the body with that body. Lee gets caught with that punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big elbow. And he landed the right hand there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Straight punch land. Tie. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Wow, what a head kick! Another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Massive head kick. Big knee to the body. That one landed clean. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Get the angle. Fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. To stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, head kick blocked by Lee. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut above his eye has gotten really, really bad at this point, and candidly, the location could not be any worse. If this cut gets any deeper and starts to bleed any more, prevailing wisdom is they're gonna stop this fight. Oh, he 
huge block there. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Way to hide that leg kick. Big kick land. Now connects with the right. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just with You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he might be out. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big leg kick land. Take it to the ground. And he connects with a punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like a man right on the Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. And they separate. Oh, the outside of that lead leg, the left thigh, really showing signs of bruising now. Now you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice head kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. with the big right hand. Man, striking class. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. strikes than he did in previous rounds. Visibly limping here. Switching stances here. Real quick leg kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's got the full mount. Oh, look at him jumping in. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. He's done, he's done. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight 
that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion.